Hello and welcome to our first Showbiz News of 2024. That is 2024. 2024. That was a curious moment there. <laughs> if you haven't, do subscribe. Uh, there's lots of showbiz, entertainment, television, food, gardening, mental lives. health, lives, current affairs, everything. You name it, it's on this channel somewhere. You might not agree with us. And we might not agree with you. We always have a good time. Yeah, you certainly have a good time. Right, so the Golden Globes, of course, Mark is absolutely fizzing with any of these big award shows because of our other um, angle on our channel, Popcorn the Popcorn Junkie. Junkies, Junkies, where Junkies. We, uh, all things movies. You can follow us on Instagram with that as well, at Popcorn Junkies. <coughs> yeah. So you love it very much from the movies point of view. I do. And I love it for the gossip and the claves. But I think we I love can, movies too. Yeah, and I think we meet in the middle. Yes. I think there's a little bit of gossip that I quite like and there's moments. You love, are you kidding? Come on, <laughs> you bloody love a gossip. Yeah, and you'd love an award. We'll just quickly just run through who's won what and then we'll get onto the meaty, interesting stuff, which is who was on the red carpet, who said what, did what, fell over what. Who had a snog with who? Who, who did? That's the dog. That's the tree the moving. Christmas tree. Who refused to let who have a photograph taken with who? Mm. <gasps> Shocked and surprised. Anyway, it, no surprise. Well, there are surprises. Oppenheimer cleared the board pretty much. Uh, the Christopher Nolan film starring Killian Murphy about the astro-nuclear physicist um, Oppenheimer. It won Best Film. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. won Best Supporting Actor. Killian Murphy won Best Actor, sorry. Yeah. There's a review of Oppenheimer on this channel. Absolutely. Mark, very honest in his search. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm not surprised that it won. But it, I can't say it floated my boat. But to be honest with you, none of the major films by any of the major filmmakers, such as Scorsese and whatever, they made, they're great films, obviously, and they're great filmmakers, but it didn't excite me. I did, it didn't excite me. But um, other notable awards, which you rightly just honed in on there, were um, Devine Joy Randolph, who you oh. might know from The Idol. Did you see The Idol, guys? I loved her in it. She left me begging for more. Begging for more. And she's won Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy for The Holdovers, which hasn't been released here yet. Oh, but, I've got to see that. But it's going to be released very soon. A um, couple of other notables. Lily Gladstone won for Killers of the Flower Moon, the Scorsese film, uh, about the Native American Indian tribe that were slowly killed by white people for their oil. Is it, is it a real epic? Is it's it like an epic. The, the old westerns? It is, movies? it is, it yeah. is, yeah. And Because um, I think we reviewed the trailer on that. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And again, you know, mixed, a mixed bag of results for me there. Emma Stone won for Poor Things. Some of uh, people either I love, love or hate this film. But oh. yeah, Emma Stone has won, so that's great. Oh. Uh, and a couple of other notables, Anatomy of a Fall, which was at mine and Nanny Dye's number one film of 2023, won Best Screenplay, which was... And uh, I'm annoyed she went to watch that because I loved the trailer and I said I could wait for it and you went without me. And it won Best Foreign Language Film, which was great. And Barbie won Best Cinematic and Box Office Achievement, which is really an award for populist films or films that do well commercially that perhaps might not get acknowledged uh, in an awards is that a ceremony. New award? Yeah, it's a new category. Mm -hmm. But the big drama there was I think Taylor Swift was at the award ceremony precisely because her tour film was in there, Taylor Swift the Eras Tour Tour. So she was in there and Barbie won that. But um but clearly I think Oppenheimer's gonna be in the Barbenheimer sort of trade off. It's clear or it suggests that Oppenheimer's gonna do well at the Oscars and Barbie perhaps not so well. In the TV categories, succession cleared up nearly yeah. all the actors. The Bear cleared up. Love that. All Love the, the first series. We can't get into the second can't series. Get into the second series. And Beef. I'm delighted to see that Beef oh, won that. Uh, Best Actress and Best Actor in a Limited Series as well. And Elizabeth Debicci uh, won for The Crown, her depiction of Princess Diana. Um, and those are the main. So those are the awards. That's what people walked away with. So it was an Oppenheimer night. Let's sure. get that out of the way now. Right, that's done. Some of the frocks and some of the goss. Should we get on the carpet? Let's get on the carpet. So let's get yeah. on. The can we just pause? With Margot. Now, I love Margot. Mm -hmm. I love everything about her. I love her as a person. I love. I think she's beautiful. I think she's a great actress. I think all the way through the Barbie tour, she looked a million dollars. But I, I don't like this dress. It's pink, isn't it, for Barbie? I, well, I don't mind that, but I just... I think she should have just gone full Barbie. Maybe it's just that photograph, because sometimes mm. a particular photograph, but... I don't like the lawn on the wall. I don't think that helps. Yeah, why have they got a the lawn, lawn on the, on the wall? Why did they do that? Oh, so it looks That's like she's something... actually lying on the floor. You know, what, you know what makes me think of mustard and cress? Yeah, same here. It's making yeah, me want here. an egg sandwich. But of course, Margot Robbie, notable for the fact that, yes, of course, she's the star of Barbie. Yes, she's Barbie gorgeous. was nominated, but she's also the producer of Saltburn. She's a Is she? She's a talented. smart... And she started in Neighbours. Yeah, it just shows you. And guess what she really, really loves? What? Love Island. Yeah, she's I didn't a love know that. Where did that come from? Taylor Swift. It's a good job you knew because I forgot. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> when I asked you, I just twisted I my knee. Oh, I just shit. twisted my knee. Oh, really badly. You're not at the age where you can move suddenly. I've just moved. I pivoted and it. Mark, went don't pivot. Really? It really. always. Get... Oh, Mark. Oh, I'm gonna get a knee That's injury. That's because you're not stretching after the gym. So I've got no sympathy. Taylor Swift. There she is. <laughs> 
Uh, a little bit of a jab at Taylor Swift as uh, the host uh, kind of had a dig saying, you're not going to get as many cutaways of Taylor here as you do at any NFL matches because I think her boyfriend that's is just, an American footballer. That's rude. It's not funny. <clears throat> it's not funny. But it, the, roasting the audience is part of the shtick, isn't it? I don't like it though. Fair I mean, I know everyone says, but that's what we do, but I don't like it. Okay. I just think... That's not what I do. I think it's really rude and I think because it's just the thing that they do, I think they're getting away with a lot of really poor material. Weak. Because that's not funny. Well, actually, no one laughed and then he had to move on quite quickly. And they cut away, actually, to Taylor. And she looked quite severe. I'll try and find a shot and pop it up She's now. She's there for her business, yeah. right? It was. I found it sexist. Okay. Like, the only time you're going to get photographs is with, when you're with the, your boyfriend at the football or baseball or whatever it is. What, what's that? Even NFL? when you're Taylor Swift. That's Even what he's saying. Taylor yeah, yeah, Swift. I know what you mean. Probably the most it's famous, just... successful woman on the planet. Yeah, and wow. a very, very shrewd businesswoman as well. You know, as you said, she released that film herself and it's been the biggest yeah. financial hit. It's a very notable thing what she's done with her film, actually, because she's bypassed the entire Hollywood studio system and went directly to AMC theatres, which is like an Odeon, but in America are much bigger, and just did the deal direct. So she got more of the money and so Smart. did the theatres. So the theatres like that, because they didn't have to give all that money over to Hollywood. Yeah. Very clever. Um, here's what do you think of her dress? Uh, I, I bet that looked a million dollars. I'd like to touch dollars it. I don't mean in a life. sort of do dodgy way, but I I bet I that looked it looks nice. Amazing. But it's nice to touch. Uh, Julianne Moore, obviously I there. Love Julianne I think Moore. was she there for May, December, maybe? The last one we loved of hers was where she was the actress. Map to the Stars. Oh, I've got to watch that again. It's so Florence Pugh. No, oh, right. Nobody say anything against Florence Pugh. I... We love Florence Pugh. Uh, Chi Chi doesn't, obviously. Uh, I don't like her hair. No, I don't. It's very much. If we're very, here to talk it's about an that. out there style choice, isn't it? It's like, tattoo very similar to Maggie's. Yeah, though, it's isn't? very, it's very beautifully done, and I'm sure it's because we're a certain age that yeah. we don't like it. But to me, it looks a bit like. Teddy boy. Yeah, it's Teddy boy. I love her shtick though. I love who she is. Selena Gomez, who can I just say, uh, she is, I think she's fantastic. And is it only murders in the building? I've only seen a few. That. We haven't, everyone at was was saying that they're they? so brilliant. Do they really like them? They love See, it. I, Jane Moore loves it. Oh, does she? Yeah. Well, maybe I, well, because I watched a couple, found it very comfy and homely and warm and easy. And then I thought, oh no, the rest of the family won't like this. They'd much prefer beef. I think it's great. I think Martin Short's brilliant in it. I think uh, I like Steve, um, oh God, what's his name? Steve, what's the name of the comedian? Well, no, the white hair, Steve Martin. He's in there. Anyway, Selena Gomez was on the carpet. I'm not entirely sure I like that dress. But I have to say, I think every one of these photographs is just not a great photograph. No. This is a lovely dress, is that? that? That's Ayo Edebiri, star Beautiful of the bear. Dress. Oh, she is lovely. Oh, she's yeah. gorgeous, she's isn't she? That is just... Oh, that's chic and sleek and oh, I've got powerful. That. Look at that red against her skin. Stunning. But I've got that thing about this material. It's I know. Getting my teeth go a bit funny. Mm. Uh, Barry Keown. Yeah, no, but I don't think I'm pronouncing it. Keown, Keown, Keown. I know Irish followers tell us. What do you think of his trousers? I don't like his outfit at all. Don't not you? one bit. Does it change your opinion of him knowing he's ironed his Y fronts? No, Are you thinking Because I of think them? he was having quite a bit of fun with it. Uh, I like Barry. When we think he's a damn fine he's a damn actor. But, oh, well, do you like his outfit? No. I don't should like he be applauded for doing there. something a bit different? I think so. I, think I don't want should... to applaud people for doing something a bit different. I like black tie. Bloody hell. Okay. Andrew Scott, looking fantastic. I don't like that. Don't like a white suit. All of Us Strangers. This film is going to be a big deal this year. All of Us Strangers. It stars Andrew Scott and Paul Mescal. Mm. And Claire Foy. Wow. And I think Jamie Dornan. Is it Dornan? Brilliant. Dornan? Dornan? Timothy Chalamet. Shala, 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 May. Some say he's done himself a disservice by starring in Wonka. Others see it as a brave, bold move, showing and suggesting he doesn't care what people think. Well, I think, you know, when you're young and as successful and as a hot ticket as he is, and you've got huge amounts of money, why can't you just sometimes just experiment. choose things that you might want to do for fun or to experiment or to push yourself out of your comfort zone? Good for him. Me and Anne will be doing a review of that very soon. Pedro Pascal. Oh. Right. Uh, appeared to be sporting an injury, but his arm sling was dressed fabulously in Bottega Veneta. We um, love him. We love this. We love him. And even if we're wondering why he wore a polo neck, we're not going to say it because we love him. That's all we need to say about that. Okay. Uh, Rosamund Pike looking a little bit like a fly. Do you know what? I think that's incredible, that outfit. Do you? It looks like she's got the head of a fly. She's no, like a blue really bottle. It's really unusual and striking. And look at the way it frames her exquisite face. 
And look at that, it's very um, Audrey mm. Hepburn, isn't it? Or Grace Kelly. Maybe it's just the Times unfortunate sort past. of way in which we're facing her, that it looks yeah, like the, again, the eyes of a blue Yeah, again, you've got to see bottle. these moving, really, haven't you? Yeah, it wasn't my part. She's sensational, actually. Saltburn, not my greatest film, but she's great in it. Greta Gerwig, is that material? What's going on here? You don't like here? that, do you? Is no. that satin or raw silk? Satin, it's just like, it's, it's like if I accidentally brushed against her, I'd have a, an absolute sort of... I'm quite surprised by this sort of classic sort of... I mean, I'm trying to sound she like I don't know anything about fashion. But I would... I would have thought she'd have gone for something more quirky and kooky. You can't just sit at a table and just like, quaff a few drinks in that, can you? Yeah. You feel a bit awkward with it, all Once billowing around, down, it, billowing around your head, yeah. wouldn't you? Um, is that oh, Oprah? Oh, Oprah. Wow. Yeah, she's on the Ozenpeck, isn't she? Is she? Ozenpeck. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I like that colour. The colour purple. She, I love her. I've met her. I've interviewed her. I adore her. She looks gorgeous, actually. Yeah. She looks great. Fantastic. <gasps> Helen Mirror. Wow. Also looking good in purple. That is amazing. Dolce & Gabbana. She's so like my mum. Isn't she? <laughs> My it's mom looks so like, but that I love that. Yeah, but I really, really love that. I mean, I would never have the courage to wear something like that. Look at this. Look at the colours on it. I have to confess, the arms look a little bit like a curtain that's been yeah, pulled down. Yeah, but this is the red carpet. You've got to go yeah. with something a prom. I guess so. Dua Lipa, looking like a. Is that sort of a musical? No, it looks like a sort like of that. the insides of a fallopian tube, doesn't it? And her ribs. Just, a, you know, you get a cross-eyed romantic thing. That. Billie Eilish, oh, I dressed love for that. school. I love that look. It's a curious look, isn't oh, it? Oh, God, our girls would love that. Yeah, she would love her. I actually, she She's so said, good. Leonardo DiCaprio. And, and who's Lily that with him? That's, that's the lady he co-stars with in oh. Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh. Um, she gave her speech. Is it in Blackfoot language? Is that oh. like the Native American tongue speech? Um, and, uh, yeah, so they play love interest for each other. She won Best Actress. Probably oh. means she's going to win the Best Oscar. I thought he was sensational. So it was a return her, to form for him. Is this her first film? I've never seen it. No, before. she's been in lots of other things. Elizabeth Debicci, 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 who played Princess Diana. She won a Golden Globe for that. Oh, God, is that her? Yeah. She was very good. She was sensational. She's really good. She, how she long looks, her arms are. Not only how long her arms are, but she... she I've actually been told that I have unusually short arms. Short arms? Do you think no. she's got unusually long arms? She's got unusually long arms. Do you think so? So in terms of some of the other stories that happened, um, obviously we showed you earlier today, uh, Barry Keown ironed his wife fronts. That's a big story. Uh, if you're wondering um, where we've shown you those earlier today, yeah. I was on Coffee Man and this morning conscious yeah. ate them. We showed you it well, earlier yeah. today. Well, we're going to show you it again. Here's the footage of him ironing his underwear, which no, of course <laughs> is a bit of a joke because of course the end of Saltburn has that long extended scene of him running around with no clothes on. So um, I was just saying, you see there, that dress looks so much nicer. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Do you think the photos were a bit naff? Um, but the big drama, or the big story of the night, wasn't just Killian Murphy wondering whether his wife had left lipstick all over his nose when he went Don't for his acceptance speech. Don't you love that? Apparently when so he got sweet. off his speech, he said, have I got lipstick on? His wife did have very big lipstick on, and, and she did seem to kiss him on his nose. She sucked his nose. Oh, she sucked it? I think so, accidentally. You know, in the, in oh. the, in the melee of kind of joy. So he said, just went... <laughs> so that's how he started his speech. Said, Which I love. Lipstick on my nose and then went, oh, fuck he it. He said, I'll, I'll just sort it, it I'll there. just carry on. So it's, it's lovely news. But he was there with his son, Aaron, and, and his he wife, so Yvonne alive. McGuinness. Who look looking how much he looks like him. Person. Look how pleased he is. Well deserved. Oh. He's been working tirelessly in the industry, and that's such a such a huge award. And look how red his wife's lips are. Uh, yeah, hugely no red. No wonder he was worried. Absolutely. But the big story, the big story, has to be the Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet having a bit of PDA or doing a bit of PDA public Which display they of affection. Seem to be doing. Well, the, the Kardashians love to suck a face, don't they? They love it. I mean, yeah. So here's some photos of Kylie Jenner and uh, Timothy Chalamet snogging. But one of the other stories that developed was okay. Selena Gomez and Taylor Swift were caught on camera or were seen. Apparently fans were trying to lip read. Uh, talking about the fact that Selena Gomez went to ask, allegedly, for a photo with Tim, Timmy Chalamet. And they say that, what's her name? Kylie, Kylie. Jen Kylie Jenner refused it. On his behalf. On his behalf. But I wonder if it was one of those where she said, no, you're not having a photo with him like that. Or was it like, no, he doesn't do photos. Well, Taylor looks outraged. It looked very sort of mean girls. They're all sort of like gaggling yeah, in the corner. Kind of this going, is Ooh. probably because the Mail Online wanted it to look like mean Fair girls. Is. Because newspapers love to imagine that every woman hates every other woman. They might True. have been sniggering about something that happened in the toilet. It's so a big story there. What did Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez say about Kylie and Timothy? I'm sure it will come out because somebody will lip read it. Of course they will. Um, but of course, Consequently, Kylie and Timothy's uh, public display of affection has become mean-tastic as people everywhere, well, they say people everywhere, but a few people, maybe will try and do it too, have tried to recreate their intimate snoggy moment. Mm. You were asking, was she his plus one? I guess he was there probably for well, longer, right? Well, it does right? say everywhere, yes, that she went with him. So that's a big, like, that is relationship status. Yeah, I agree. If she's his plus one at Golden Globes. I agree. Because none of the other Kardashians were there. No. As far, I mean, I've looked around, I can't see any of them. I agree. And there you have it. 
And that, was, that was the evening all told. <laughs> <laughs>